Here's a project we're doing for Mr. Clay. It's a wood retainer wall that we're demoing. We've got an aluminum seawall down here in the background. We'll be taking all this out, putting a new vinyl seawall in, along with a uh, new wooden retainer wall. We'll go ahead and flip this over just to kind of get an idea of what all's going on. I'd like to show the progress of this project right here. It's going to be pretty cool once we get it all done. Definitely fun and interesting stuff to watch. They're demoing the uh, wood retainer wall right now. Once we get done with that, we've got a, a boathouse we're going to be tearing down. Dock, building build a new dock, new boathouse. That's about it. Keep doing progress as we go along. slate now after a couple days of digging and removing the old retainer walls. We've actually started installing the new 5.5 Everlast seawall. We're using 18 foot sheets. I want to give you an idea of what we're dealing with here. The old aluminum wall that was installed was only 8 foot sheets. So make sure you check your contractor and check your contract before you get installed. Now we're installing the piling. Actually 8 inch piling, 20 feet long, approximately 11 foot embedded into the ground. Got piling wrap on it to prevent the Frito bore worms from eating the pilings over the years. And down here, we're getting ready to get started on installing the 2x8 rough cut whaler. Got this corner dug out now, getting ready to install the filings. Had to remove a bunch of rocks, and then we'll do the return wall. We have removed all the old riprap from the front of the old seawall. You can see the old aluminum seawall here, which is I found out is eight foot sheets. There's seven foot exposed, only one foot in the soil, which is not adequate. And you can see behind it, there's another aluminum seawall that failed. The reason why they built the one in front of it. But behind that, there's another wooden seawall that failed. So what we're going to do, we're going to come in here and install a Everlast 5.5 series, 18 foot sheet vinyl seawall with supported Navy style with eight inch by 20 foot pilings in front of it with two sets of double two eight rough cut weather. This should be a fix long term.
foot sheets of Everlast vinyl seawall. We had a good storm pickup on us, so we're trying to get this corner secure before we get a washout. Everlast vinyl sheet piling. The vinyl sheet piling has a male and female joint where they actually slide together from the top, making a real nice, tight, secure connection. properly. If not, you're going to have a leak between both properties. Got a real good feeling between this wall. Got some filter cloth installed between the neighbor's wall and our new sea wall. On the inside and out. Should not have any leaks. This is the class 4 riprap that we're installing. Coming from clear Alabama in these big old trucks right here. This will go out the water side of the seawall, break up the wave action. Take the time to watch my video. If you liked it, please hit like below and subscribe if you don't mind. If you have another project in the marine construction field that you'd like to see done, I'll see if I can't put one together. Leave it in the comment box. As for now, me and Harley saying bye. And remember, everything built by Dale's Marine Construction is made in America. <laughs>